guys, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about orange polishes. Oh my God, I almost dropped my coffee. Orange nail polishes, because summer is coming. I am gonna do a separate video of my top picks for summer. I'm also going to do a seasonal rack for summer as well. I haven't even started putting polishes up. <laughs> just yet but if you guys want to see the process of that i think somebody mentioned or commented on my last season or rack asking what my thought process is if you guys want to see that video let me know and then when i'm putting polishes up on my seasonal rack i can record that process all right back into the orange polishes summer is coming and i wanted to do a completely separate video for orange polishes especially for those of us that are orange polish lovers all of these were swatched with an undie so i use the sally hansen insta dry in white on time i did two coats of this polish and then and then i'll show what how many coats i applied of the other polishes but i did two coats of this polish first make sure that if you are using an undie make sure that it is fully opaque because if there's any bald spots it doesn't matter how many coats of the neon polish you're putting on top of it it is going to show through so just just an fyi let me start off with the two from orally here i have this one which is called surfer dude came out in last year's summer collection i have worn this one on its own and on its own it takes three coats but it doesn't show as vibrant okay if you put the white base on i did two coats of the white base and then i added two additional coats of this one uh, to get it completely opaque and it's so beautiful now compared to melter popsicle which is this one right here from orally this one has a little bit more red in it to where i feel like this one has a little bit more yellow in it but both are super beautiful i do feel like melter popsicle kind of radiates than this one does this one's still really gorgeous don't get me wrong it's still beautiful i just feel like this one just kind of there's like a light coming off of your nails even in person it's so phenomenal so two coats of the white base and then two coats of this one right here i did top coat all of them off beta from occ is another one let me compare it to melter popsicle because it's the one that's the closest to it if anything in person i have to say beta glows even in the bottle there's a light coming off of this bottle even more so than melter popsicle if you have melter popsicle imagine that how much brighter this is so stinking beautiful same thing two coats of the white base and two coats of the occ beta so gorgeous and this is the only one that i own uh the only polish that i own from occ and i really like their bottle shape is very it's different from the other ones All, a lot of the polishes that i own i really enjoy their brush it's not super thin and it's not super wide either i have quite a bit of control with the brush i have this one which is from china glaze this is called pool party and let me compare this one to surfer dude because it's the one that's a little bit closest to it. Although I do feel like Surfer Dude still has a little bit more red than this one does. But still really, really gorgeous. Again, two coats of the white base and two coats of Pool Party over top of it. Salon Perfect. I have Traffic Cone. Salon Perfect Traffic Cone. I actually bought... A new bottle of this and I had forgotten that I already had this one so I'm gonna set that one to the side maybe for a future giveaway but it's a lump perfect traffic cone so great you can find this at Walmart two coats of the white base two coats of traffic cone beautiful all of these have a really great formula except for the last two these are a little bit more not the bad formula but mm, I feel like the, the other ones are better but i wanted to show you guys all of the brighter oranges that i have this one is from sally hansen it's called sun kiss this is a little bit more sheer not squishy not like a jelly this is just sheer but still got opaque on me got opaque on me two coats of the white base and two coats of this one right here which is called sun kiss the shade of this is quite a bit more muted let me compare it to traffic cone so you guys can see the difference it's a little bit more muted down not quite as bright but when you use it under or over top of a white it brings out it looks a lot brighter than it does in the bottle 
And then lastly, this one, which I have not used in a really long time. Again, another one that is on the sheer side. If you want to use this one, for instance, uh, Sunkiss, this takes four coats for full opacity. And maybe you would even need, because even at four coats, I could still see the tips of my nails. So I highly recommend just putting on a white base on this one, not using it on its own. But I know some people, like myself even sometimes, I don't really feel like going through the hassle of a white base, if that makes sense. All right, Crushed from Sally Hansen. This one's a little bit more on the shimmery side. So stinking pretty. It's the one that's, these two are the ones that are least vibrant. From the ones the orange polishes that i own but i love i love the little shimmer and it looks great on its own and the color shows up true to the bottle to what you see in the bottle but if you put on a white base this becomes vibrant and so much more vibrant than what you're seeing in the bottle so i recommend this polish with an undie it looks so much better it looks so much better and you can see the little gold shimmer. So this is an orange, but it has these gold micro shimmers in there that show up on the nail. Well, that's everything guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.